Hey guys, it's Dr. Gubby Trades here. Today I'm just looking at the pre-market. It's currently 5.52. I've been up since 4. Just looking at the market, seeing any type of news, possible entries on where the market is moving today. Yesterday it was a kind of weird, interesting market where it was moving up and down. At the same time, not finding any level of resistance. But otherwise, looking at also CNBC, you look at top market movers and top decliners, AAP, Auto, Advanced Auto, being an industry that's kind of been very in aware of where I want to either make a trade, see where it's going to go, either moving forward, Best Buy. Best Buy is also an interesting top decliner in stocks. But looking at the top gainers, we have Norwegian Crudin, Illumina Incorporated, and then we have Carnival Corp. All these other market movers, top decliners. We're going to look at what's going on with them today. But other than that, I also just want to let you guys know that the Instagram has been doing very well. I do deeply appreciate you guys following, looking at my content. But sadly, what I wanted to also bring up was in the last seven days, it has been kind of rough due to the fact that we haven't been growing as much as we have. And I just wanted to understand that if you guys know anything, like if there's anything affecting the content here on Instagram, like, please let me know. I don't know if I'm like posting too much content, if it's too like annoying, but please let me know. But just like just a quick heads up on that. Also, thank you guys for following me on the TikTok. The TikTok is doing well as well. We're almost there at 60,000. Thank you guys so much. But let's get into it rest of the video so let's go up and open your brokerage look at td ameritrade today yeah in the money call not doing so well i might get rid of it however i'm kind of holding strong like same with my spy in the money call but well, let's look at a a p okay looking at the chart so let's look at the yearly date. So looking at the yearly date, it looks like it came off a horrible down plunge. So you, you look at like certain type of support and resistance here. So you can look like right here, looking at this trend line. So you have your general support and resistance coming from here up until there but however you're kind of falling at this falling wedge out right here so if i go to the hourly and i go back from yesterday you kind of see where that support and resistance is kind of hitting off so you're having certain points where it's like it's either going up 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 up, up or down down, down 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 however if you're looking at the 15 as well let's look at that looking at a huge downcline for the market so if I go to my options, I'm kind of like calling this as a September 16th. We're calling this as a five grand put. And then that's closed. So that is set in stone. And if we also go back to our high climb mover. So if we go to this stock, NCLH, NCLH. After hours moved up XYZ closing market, so NCLH. Yep, cruise lines holding. Looking at a huge upturn in the market. Very cheap stock, very cheap stock. And then if you look at the charts, looking crazy over the past couple months. Going crazy up, 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 up. So I'm very confident in this one. So we go here, place our trade, and the set in stone. Everything is pretty good. But otherwise, if that doesn't even like, if my orders don't go like and fulfilled, I have to like open it directly at that time of what that day is gonna go a little bit. 
So otherwise, that is looking good. I'll check on it in the past like couple minutes. Make sure like when market does open that it will not stump me out. That's what you have to make sure is not getting stumped out. And then another tool I can probably use is Finviz. Finviz is saying the market is kind of in an awkward place. Meta is going good. Microsoft Technology Communication. Tesla recently had its first stock split, or not its first stock split, but a stock split in a while. So that may be a very interesting position to look at. But other than that, that should be it. And then another thing is if I'm ever using TradingView, let me also make sure that it is also beating up with that type of security. So let me go to AAP. Look at that. Launch that chart. <clears throat> Sadly, it's just not loading. I wish it. Oh, this because it came off from that falling wedge. So if I wanted to put my short position, I wanted to put it here. And since it's cut, so, yeah, words. Since it is expiring at a specific date, I want to make sure my. What's the largest candle there? So the largest candle is right there. Stop going right there. Move it there. And then move it down right there. My stop loss will be hit at 148. Make sure I have a trailing stop loss just in case. We always make sure that show you details Okay, looks like it is set in stone. But otherwise, if I was showing you guys on my computer, I can show you guys directly. If you guys are interested in that tutorial, I'll show you guys how to make a trailing stop loss or trailing like take profit where you don't have to be at the computer to manually input whether your trade is going correctly or it's going reverse, like everything's like unhappening, it's crazy. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful, successful day. You guys mean a lot to me. Like, I wouldn't be where I am without my followers, without my audience. You guys really make me happy. You guys make me very humble. Also, another thing is I'm really starting to get a lot of interaction in the Discord. Oops. Haha, <laughs> that's a different one. A lot of interesting facts. Like, I got sugar. Asking me how super trend settings will change or be implemented. I can show you guys on another tutorial as well. I'll let them know. But otherwise, that should be the end of the video. You guys.